Memphis, Louisiana is to the accordion what Cremona, Italy is to the violin. Great. Of the 60 accordion makers who have workshops around here, the Stradivari is Marc Savoie. For 30 of his 49 years, Savoie has been making accordions here in the heart of Cajun country. They're not the keyboard kind of accordion, but the button kind. The buttons, these chrome buttons right here, this initially was uh, a starter button for a Mercury outboard motor. But the rest of the instrument is wood. Uh, they're easy to play, they're loud, they're portable, they have a... Um, an appeal to him that uh, it's a folksy appeal. Marc Savoie not only makes accordions, about 70 of them a year, but he finds time to play them too. This is the most beautiful music, the most beautiful pleasing tones to my ear. It's so pleasing, you know, it's melodious, it's rich, it's full, it feels good, it tastes good, this music. Every Saturday morning, folks come for miles to gather at Savoie's Music Center, where Mark has his workshop and showroom, and accordion recordings. Clifton Chenier, who died in 1987, was considered the master, the Paganini of accordionists. The people bring sausage and beer, and they come to listen and dance and play Cajun music. Savoie likes to think that every instrument he makes helps keep the tradition and the music alive and thriving. So the more instruments you have, the more musicians you have. The more musicians you have, the more it's going to spread, and the more people are going to be coming down here, and the more that maybe the people might preserve the things that are unique here, you know? Later that afternoon, down the road from Eunice in Brobridge, Louisiana, they had an accordion festival. And it seems as if Marc Savoie doesn't have a thing to worry about. That's about uh, $10 million worth of publicity. <laughs>